Uh, Eric, the actor, wants to say hello. By the way, there is a Eric, the actor, special coming up on Howard TV. Eric, uh, when he went to do In Cold Blood, Whatever the what's the name of the show? Oh, Mary. Oh show. no, uh, in, in plain sight. sight. No, in plain sight. sight. In plain sight. Yeah. <clears throat> when Eric went to do in plain sight, Howard TV was there with him every step of the way, pretty much. And uh, you see him on set. He even gets Tia Carrera in his trailer with him. Yeah, she came to meet him. Yeah, she still looks pretty good. Did you think, Eric? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and Eric gets her in there and. He's hanging out with Mary McCormick on the set, and you see him with all the... It's it's a fascinating special. I watched the whole thing all the way through and was like, give me more. Give me One more, Eric. One of these Eric. days, we have to get him out, out to Oscar week and yeah. have him go to all the parties. And... Problem is, he gets really... he You know, he's great on the phone, but he clams up sometimes around famous is people. Is that right? Yeah. Eric gets a little starstruck. Oh, and he's definitely pussy struck. <laughs> well, how could he help that? Hey, who isn't? Oh, the so book he didn't have anything to say to Tia Carrera? Is no. That what you're saying? You fucking froze it. you got to watch the special. When she, she gets there finally and she's like, oh, hi, Eric. Uh, you know, and she sees a guy in a wheelchair, you know, and she goes, hi, Eric, how are you? It's great to see. You know, she's being extra nice. And he's like, <laughs> And then she asks him a question. Dougie, what was the question that uh, Tia Carrera asked Eric? you got to see the special. It's great. Howard TV coming up with some good stuff. Howard TV, by the way, featuring Richard's dick in his mouth. He was just praising her for the shows that he liked her in. I believe that's what... Yeah, yeah but what she asked him a question, and he couldn't even answer it. Uh, I don't remember. You don't have the clip, do you? Where he meets Tia Carrera? Uh, let me see if I can pull it. Pull it up. Stand by. It's the greatest exchange. Like, all of a sudden, you know, sexy Tia Carrera... Right. ...comes in the trailer. You know, because you know, Eric said to the producer, Hey, you... I think I could meet Tina Carrera. So he gets his opportunity. Yeah. And she comes in there and he's like looking at her like he doesn't know who she is. <laughs> you have a Eric, you get a look on your face like who is this again? It's like it's like the famous story where Don Rickles said to Frank Sinatra, please come over to the table, I'm trying to impress my date. Just say hello to me and I'll, and she'll think I'm somebody. Yeah. And then of course, Sinatra comes over and Rickles says, "Can you get the fuck out of here? I'm thinking can't you see him on a date." See, I'm eating. I'm busy. Yeah, Eric's like, "Please get Tia Carrera in here." He finally gets her in, and then he goes like, "Who are you?" <laughs> That's not right. You look like you don't even know who she is. Like you don't even want to talk to her, and she's trying like crazy to get some kind of conversation going with you. The only thing I didn't know is the fact that she was part of the current season of. Celebrity Apprentice. I don't know. It was a very awkward conversation. It's that, great. What do you mean? The only thing you didn't know? I don't understand that. Well, I, mean, I knew. I knew who she was. Yeah, I know. I, but you act I like knew. you don't. I mean, you just seem very distant. <laughs> Why don't you admit it, Eric? You get starstruck. I maybe sometime, but. I don't believe I did that. Oh, okay. Mm. We got the clip, Howard. All right, go ahead. It's funny. Fred's got to put the audio on. You got it, my friend. Yeah, just check this out. To the trailer. Hi. Hey. Hi. I remember you from you know, Wayne's World and True Lies. I know. 150 years ago. <laughs> so, hey, nice to meet you. He's a big fan of yours. They were all set to take him back, but he wanted to wait to say oh, hi to you. Cool. And he's been asking about you all day. Yeah. Because oh, he saw your name on the call sheet. Oh, my goodness. Yes. The tango teacher. Do you have these guys following you around everywhere? Yeah. <laughs> just today. Yeah, just today. <laughs> It was a big day. So you finished working today already? Yep. Oh, cool. Yeah, I've got all the scenes and good to go. Nice to meet you. Pierre Carrera is definitely. Yeah, all right, yeah, cut it now. Thank so, God all those other guys were talking. Yeah, I mean, he just stares at her. And <laughs> where, where is that the funniest thing you've ever oh saw? you got to see it. He, she, she's like, oh, hi. And, and oh, did you finish shooting for the day? He goes, ah. Where was the question I couldn't answer? No, it's it's just like she's trying to make conversation. She goes, oh, did you finish shooting today? So you should be like, yes, the shoot went very well. I, I enjoyed these... being around the cast and crew. I... You made me feel so well. 
Yeah, um, I did a scene with Tia Kerr. I mean, I did a scene with Mary McCormick. I did a something. She comes in good. and says, oh, do these guys follow you around all the time? And he just stares at her. And you know in her mind, she's like, I got to get out of here. Let me leave. Let me leave. Can I leave yet? Or is the guy in this the wheelchair so going to be upset? uncomfortable. Yeah. Eric, come on. You had nothing to say. You you clammed up. You froze. You froze. And if it wasn't for Shuley being there, kind of filling in the blanks. <laughs> yeah, he wrapped up. He did his whole day, Tia. She's there. She's in the trailer. They drag her all the way to your trailer, and then you got nothing. She mentions the camera. She goes, yes, I'm being followed by Howard TV. And she goes, oh, do you have these guys with you all the time? <laughs> 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 Aye, aye, matey. You froze, Eric. It's the greatest special. <laughs> I don't talk like that, damn it. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. <laughs> you've, got a, you've got a growling kind of voice. You do. But he's so great on the phone. That's where he's most comfortable. Yes. If we could get Tia Carrera to call him. He'd do much better. I don't know about that. It's when he's angry at us that mm. he really shines. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe that's it. <laughs> but boy, oh boy, pussy slows you down, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> it's your kryptonite. Puts him in reverse. Oh, my God. He was just like... <laughs> <laughs> he's just staring. <laughs> and you don't go harken back to Wayne's World and Well, okay, at least he had something lies. there. I thought, okay, this is going He's all right. He's got an opening statement. And huh? I of course he doesn't realize it's insulting. <laughs> I remember you from Wayne's World and True Lies of 500 years ago. Actress, right. that's like the death knell. That yeah. Is that all you remember yeah. me from? I did that 50 billion years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, I've done other things. Man, like what? How about it's so nice to meet you? I've been a fan. Well, all right. He got, at least he had some opening line. But then she goes, uh, so how is it on the set today or whatever? Mm. You finished shooting? <laughs> <laughs> Ask me another question. I'll be out. Oh, so these guys follow you around all the time? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you finished shooting for today? <laughs> <laughs> did you Did you enjoy it? Uh, how was it? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I gotta get You're out right. of here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Carrera. <laughs> yeah, it was like you didn't even know who she was. I mean, you were like, he was kind of like that with me at America's Got Talent, but it was, was hard. To, but I, I blamed it on the loud noise in the auditorium. But it was probably just you. Yeah, it probably was. He was even a little starstruck with me. You still there, Eric? Yes. I was reliving it's like my he's moment. It's like Tia Carrera again. Yeah, what, is Tia Carrera there with you? No, I was waiting until you would stop talking so I could talk. Okay, go ahead. Let's give Eric a chance. I was calling, I was calling for a number of reasons. One, could you, could you um, just stick to one reason? I was wondering if in a few weeks when... They do the, I guess it's going to be a Hollywood premiere of Marty's movie, Mirror, Mirror. If there would be a ch chance of me going down to the premiere and I can prove to you that I don't get starstruck by interviewing the cast and whoever else is there at the premiere. The problem with sending you to a premiere is that, and you know, Eric is very, very adamant about not asking offensive questions. It's not his thing, which I can understand. He's an actor. No, he's going to ask his own questions, right. which are, uh, do you ever see the cast of... I love you in... Three True Lies. <laughs> right. And yeah, he, he doesn't really want to offend people. And part of the funny aspect of going to a red carpet event is getting somebody to ask outrageous questions. And, you know, the wheelchair would be great because you know, everybody would approach. They would have to answer his questions. Yeah. But... Eric, it's just not that funny when we send you out to these things. I know you like it, but... And I understand why you don't want to ask offensive questions. It's not your thing. Right. But... If we could just borrow your wheelchair and put Shuli in it... <laughs> and, uh, he could, you know, why don't we just do that? Why don't we just take whoever's interviewing and put him in a wheelchair and give him some fucked up makeup or something and... 
and put them in a wheelchair, and then it's everyone will have thought. to. Yeah. Put Lisa G in a wheelchair. She'll get some. <laughs> she'll get moved up to the front of the red carpet. That's right. No more back of the red carpet for her. Right. But Eric, you know, Eric gets in front of these guys, and we we load them up with questions like, you know, you know, how, how big's your cock, and you know, when when's the last time you took a big shit in public, <laughs> and you know, and then, then Eric gets in front of him. He's like, hello. Uh, wh when is your new movie coming out? Right. Yeah, then we have no take. I understand you shot it for Paramount Pictures. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's worth the, you know, our budget's kind of tight these days now that the company charges me for repairs. So we don't have the extra money to actually send you anywhere. Maybe we could put him on the red carpet like Ronnie and have him interviewed. Yeah. Like, you're one of the stars. You're an actor going to support another actor. Yeah, within the last year, we've been charged for equipment upgrades. It's serious. So, <laughs> you know, like, I don't have money to send Eric, the actor out on, on comedy. Oh. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Fucking joke. It's a whole new, a whole new thing. Someone dreamt up. Because there's certain people at this company that fucking think about me 99% of their day. They have nothing else to do. Like, invent better equipment. Get the stock price up. That they don't do. They're busy watching me. The only thing people listen to on the whole fuck the fucking thing. And they're, they're fucking with me. There, it's beautiful. There were, there were a couple Wait, of, that's a way to run a company. What? There were a couple other things. One, I just wanted to say that my iPhone app is... Now, 99 cents. <laughs> what was uh, it before? He was charging, like, he has an iPhone app, and uh -huh. he was charging way too much money. $800. For it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't sell too many at that I price? I sold three. <laughs> what was your original price? Like, two ninety nine, right? Correct. Yeah. Why are you reducing mm, it? Why? No one bought it. <laughs> How many people bought it at two ninety nine? I'm not giving a specific number, but quite a few. Oh. Why are you reducing it then? Just because there was a demand for the price to be reduced, so zero decided to point go for zero. It. Are you going to send back the money to all those people who jumped at two ninety nine? No, hey, they they, <laughs> they, they bought Kirk, early. Car companies don't do that when you buy a car and then they reduce the That's price. That's true. He's right. He's right about that. All I'm right. Like GM. He, he's a car. <laughs> I have a business plan for you, and this might be nuts. Why not? Why not go the opposite way? Charge seven hundred thousand dollars for the app <laughs> and just sell one. If that happens, then you've made your money. You get a rich guy like Sam Simon to buy it. You know, and he'll go, "Hey, you know what? Fuck it. I could afford to buy that." And app. I'll be the only one who has it. And then you get seven hundred thousand dollars minus uh, Apple's take on that. And then, then also. Uh Fans have been asking me to talk about the Viper Room, and you haven't given me. What is the app again? First, first explain that. Like, what what does it do? Like, let's say I get the app for ninety nine cents. What what do I get? Well, it's a soundboard with eight sound bites on it, and a wallpaper. And there is going to be a new one that has been submitted to Apple with more sound bites. And another wallpaper. You mean I could have you on my phone all the time? Correct. Yeah. 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 And when by wallpaper, you mean, in other words, it'll be a picture of you on my phone. The background. Yeah, the yeah. background. Yes. Hmm. And I have an idea for a third wallpaper that I'm going to give to the app designer later. What's your idea? It kind of <laughs> plays on the whole joke that I can't do math. It's a drawing of me. <laughs> Uh, writing on a chalkboard math problem. I like that uh, Eric thinks uh, he doesn't talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it always sounds like his phone's cutting out when he talks. <laughs> and I ain't, and I ain't, ain't, no, I ain't, 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 That's a pretty good idea, though. I, Eric's, like, going to take a picture of himself trying to solve a math problem. Do well, not, not take a picture of the app designer have someone draw a picture. Oh, it's not going to be oh, you? Wow. It's not even no, that good. You know what you got to do? It, I, I, do you it, know there's it, this app where you buy it? It's a drawing, a drawing of me. There's this app that you buy, and all of a sudden, like, music comes on your phone when you press the button. Uh-huh. 
and like this naked guy comes out and he starts to squeegee the inside of your iPhone clean, like he's squeegeeing your screen. Uh -huh. And it's really funny, is you know, like <laughs> like Ralph has it. I mean, you know, of course he does. But uh, it's really funny when he shows it to you because everyone thinks Ralph's gay and then he's got this naked guy clean. Right. Like if Eric would just put on a thong and was the was a guy who comes like dancing up like at a strip club and then like like a Chippendales dancer and then squeegees your your you know, does that. He'd sell ten million of those things. He could re he could, he'd be rich, but he always has like you know a cartoon drawing of himself solving a math problem. Right. You got to do something outrageous. Well, I, I was thinking of that because of the fact that people think that I not in on the jokes and stuff like that. They're kind of show that I am. Yeah, I mean, all I right. heard that video of him getting the lab dances or something at the Viper Room was pretty wild. Yeah, like that I'd want on my phone. <laughs> you know, with two big titties on his head. <laughs> something. You know. If it was an app with Eric fucking a monkey, I mean, you know, something. I mean, <laughs> Three boobs, not that. You know, but. Eric and the two titties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but can you imagine if all of a sudden you turn on and then, like, instead of like a, a, a naked <laughs> Chippendales guy cleaning. It's Eric. It's Eric. Boom. Done. I'd have to have that. 99 cents. 99 cents. For Eric oh. dressed up like that, like with a woman's wig on and being that little woman from Poltergeist and screaming out like, you know, step into the light. And like, like you turn on your phone and he just comes up to you and he goes, all step. are welcome. All <laughs> are welcome. Step into the light. Something. <laughs> You got to do something. You want to sell? I, I guarantee you, his his app sold hmm, maybe three. Yeah. No. Nope. Did you Five. sell a hundred? Higher. Wow. All right. Well, hey. Zero. Maybe he doesn't point. need our advice. Maybe he doesn't. <laughs> what is? Some, I know that your club fucking footed is one of the sounds. Yeah, it's eight sounds. <laughs> eight sounds. I'm fucking retarded. <laughs> I'm fucking footed, you asswipe. We get that one, and what else do we get? Cat. 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 No. Cat. 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 Do we get Ack Ack? Ack actually in the next soundboard. There's the Ack Actor. Do you, uh, you have his app? I was one of the dummies that bought it for two ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> now it's ninety nine cents, dummy. I know. <laughs> now, what do you have? No money. <laughs> uh, yeah. What do you have on there? This is what. This is one sound you get. Shut the hell up for a minute. All right, that's one. <laughs> what do you do with that? <laughs> Just this. Did you do it? Did like you sit there and play with it? No, yeah. I, I I got it once and I've never looked at it again. Do you, it's use, all out. Do you use his screensaver or whatever that is? No. Wallpaper. Wallpaper. No, he's. I Let me want, see his wallpaper. I don't want to look at him. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who the hell wants to look at you? <laughs> he got you two ninety nine. Yeah, well, I'm not putting out an app, dummy. <laughs> and he only got you to buy it. Oh, you he mean got it's a, you two ninety nine? Oh, it's a cartoon drawing of him. Yeah. Oh, so it's not him. I want to see all. him. Really? It's a cartoon. Oh. <laughs> and he like, makes him look handsome. Almost looks like Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to kind of look like the little figure that you have on your desk, Robin. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a pretty shitty app. <laughs> <laughs> I could come up with a much better app for him, but he'd have to do a little work. Yeah, he'd have to pose for some pictures. Yeah, have to be naked. No cock shot, just you know, the thong, <laughs> and you cleaning the inside <laughs> of my phone, dude. I'm there for. Two, I'd pay two ninety nine for that, <laughs> or even just like yelling at you, Eric. Yeah, like he should. Yeah, he, there should be little videos of him coming up and going, "You're a jerk." <laughs> And then, like, you, when you turn on your phone, the pop, they can make that, right? If, yeah. when, you, when you hit the app, the, the guy comes it on. It could be a ringtone. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> you could do much better. The other thing I want to mention was I've been thinking about, and maybe you, Robin, and Gary could give me some advice on this, about writing a book about the 10 years that I've 
been involved with this show. <laughs> Ooh, advice. Mm. Well, my advice would be to go back, listen to all your appearances, and write about it. Yeah. That, I mean, what advice do you need? Well, it's like, what's the best people to go with and stuff like that? I mean, you mean like publishers? Yeah. Why don't you write the book first and then go to the publisher? <laughs> or the companies that you guys went through and yeah, all that. Judith Regan, but I don't think she's in the book business right. anymore. They drummed her out of the business. I uh, wrote two books for her. Robin wrote a book for her. Who are you writing your book for now, Robin? Avery. Avery is who you should go to. <laughs> you could be you could be with the same publisher, Robin. I don't know that they, they do those kind of imprints. Is there ever any dinners where all the authors get together, Robin, where you and Eric could uh, maybe... Speak with one another. Wouldn't and that be great? Author to author. <laughs> we'll go to one of those book fairs. Yeah. I would read a book. You see, but you, pro you, pro you want advice from me, Eric? Your problem is you're not honest enough. If you really opened up and told the true Eric story, I'd buy that book. I was going to be honest about the different things in the book and... I mean, you got to open up, like, what it's like when Jan has to lift you to take a shit and all that stuff. I mean, you got to really open up. You got well, everything. You know, all your name, insecurities, everything. Is mainly going to be focused on, you know, what has happened on air and off air surrounding the show and my thoughts. Like, I don't think you have a like, good book in you because you're very. See, what would be interesting to me is how hard it is for him to stay away when he bans himself from the show. Yeah, but he would never be that <laughs> self aware. He'd be like, it's not hard. <laughs> If he really talked about his addiction to airtime, yeah. it would be fascinating. But, you know, here's my advice. You need me to come and interview you and drag every little thing out of you, and then we transcribe it, and then I'll write the book. That's how you do it. And since I'm too busy to do that, being a judge, you know, you, you got... You missed that window of opportunity when he wasn't doing anything. Yeah, you should have, like, a psychiatrist interview you and then write the book with you. Can you imagine that book? That's what I want to read. The real Eric story. Yeah. Hey, Eric, I got to go anyway. All right. All right, later. Um, uh, 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 talk to you later. Talk to you later. Bye. Eric, the actor with his app. Two ninety nine, formerly two ninety nine, now ninety nine cents, Robin. JD bought one. It's on sale now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wait till prices go back up. Yeah. That's great. Hey, look who it is, uh, Sam Simon.